Thor's thunderous thrift store adventure. Thor, the mighty god of thunder, had faced many challenges in his life. He'd battled frost giants, dark elves, and even his own brother, Loki. Yet nothing prepared him for the monumental disaster that unfolded one sunny afternoon in New York City. It all began with a simple trip to Starbucks. Thor, still getting used to Midgardian customs, had developed a liking for caramel macchiatos. As he strutted down the street, Mjolnir in hand, he was suddenly struck by a revelation. He wanted extra caramel. This epiphany, however, proved to be his undoing. In the frenzy to reach his drink, he placed Mjolnir on a nearby table. Moments later, a group of tourists, mistaking it for a clever promotional item, snapped selfies and giggled as they tried to lift the hammer. Unsuccessful, they moved on, but one clever lad, recognizing the hammer from ancient myths, swiped it, thinking it would make the perfect souvenir. Returning with his caramel macchiato, Thor's eyes widened in horror. By Odin's beard, Mjolnir is gone. His bellow echoed through the coffee shop, startling everyone. He charged out into the street, caramel macchiato forgotten. Determined to retrieve his hammer, Thor marched into the Avengers Tower, where he found Tony Stark lounging in his workshop. Tony, I have lost Mjolnir, Thor announced dramatically. Tony, without looking up from his latest gadget, replied, Have you checked the lost and found? Maybe you left it in another dimension. No, you don't understand. Thor insisted. It has been stolen. I need your assistance in finding it. Tony finally looked up, a smirk playing on his lips. So the God of Thunder needs my help to find his misplaced toy. This is going to be good. After a few more jabs and some quick tech magic, Tony pinpointed the hammer's location, a quaint little thrift store in Queens. Thor, filled with renewed hope, set off for the store. Upon arrival, he was greeted by an elderly lady with cat eye glasses and an air of stern authority. Welcome to Gertie's Thrift and Treasures. How can I help you? She asked. I seek an item of great power and sentimental value. My hammer, Mjolnir, Thor declared. Gertie raised an eyebrow. A hammer, you say? We've got a few in the tool section over there. Thor scanned the shelves cluttered with rusty hammers and wrenches. Not a Mjolnir in sight. No, not these. This hammer is unique. Unique, you say? Gertie mused. Well, there was a peculiar hammer that came in this morning. The boys in the back thought it was some movie prop, but before I could price it, it was bought by a young man. Paid cash and everything. Thor's face fell. Do you know where this man went? Gertie shook her head. No, but he mentioned something about a costume contest at the comic book store down the street. With a thunderous thank you, Thor sprinted to the comic book store. The store was hosting its annual superhero costume contest, and the place was packed with people dressed as every character imaginable. Thor spotted a teenager in an ill-fitting Thor costume, holding none other than Mjolnir. The boy was surrounded by a group of admirers. Wow, your hammer looks so real, one girl exclaimed. That's because it is real, Thor boomed, stepping forward. The crowd parted, and the boy's eyes widened in awe and terror. Uh, I... I didn't steal it. I thought it was a prop, he stammered. Thor's expression softened. Fear not, young Midgardian. Return the hammer, and all will be forgiven. Relieved, the boy handed over Mjolnir. As Thor grasped the handle, he felt the familiar surge of power. He raised the hammer high, and the crowd cheered, thinking it was all part of the act. Just as Thor was about to leave, Tony Stark walked in, a mischievous grin on his face. Hey, point break. Thought you could use some backup. Thor rolled his eyes but smiled. Thank you, Stark. Your assistants were moderately helpful. Tony looked around at the cheering crowd. You know, Thor, maybe you should take up cosplay. You'd win every contest. Thor laughed heartily. Perhaps I shall. But for now, I think I've had enough adventures for one day. As they left the store, Tony nudged Thor. So, you want to hit up that Starbucks again? I hear they have a new Thunderbolt latte. Thor chuckled. Very well, Stark. But this time I shall keep a closer eye on Mjolnir. And so, with his hammer reclaimed, 
and a new appreciation for the quirks of Midgard, Thor continued his journey, ever vigilant, ever ready, and always with a dash of humor 